Hey everybody, Hannah is still missing, so I wanted to share this with you guys. News tonight for a Maui woman who went missing after traveling from Hawaii to Los Angeles. Hannah Kobayashi hasn't been heard from in nearly a week after suddenly disappearing on her cross-country trip to New York. The woman's family says that she missed her connecting flight to the East Coast and went to explore L.A. while she waited for another seat. And they say that's when things started to get very strange. Angelie Cockaday is live at LAX where Hannah was last seen. Angelie? Well, Rick and Corrine, listen, we're live at LAX, which is the last known location for 30-year-old Hannah Kobayashi. Now, that was Monday, November 11th. And since then, her family has been hitting the ground running, posting on social media and handing out flyers, hoping and praying she's found safe. With each passing day, 30-year-old Hannah Kobayashi is missing. Today is Saturday. It has been six days since we have heard from her. Her family becomes more desperate, calling their beloved Hannah a warm person with a wise soul. If you have met Hannah, she smiles at you. She gives you the clothes off her back. This is Hannah. Her aunt Lori Pigeon describes her as being 5'10", 140 pounds, with brown hair. She confirms to KTLA Hannah left Maui on Friday, November 8th. This surveillance photo shows she landed at LAX, but somehow missed her connecting flight to New York to visit family. She had booked a hotel room. She was going to concerts. But with her flight missed, Lori says she decided to do something with her time. Here she is on Sunday, the 10th, at a LeBron James event at the Grove before making her way back to LAX that night. The next morning, her family started to receive strange texts from her phone, like this one saying she was tricked and on the streets. She was worried that someone was trying to steal her money. Um, someone was um, trying to take her identity. After a few odd exchanges, Laurie says her phone went dead. I'm sure our family is just absolutely heartbroken. Passengers who just landed from Hawaii say LAX isn't always the safest airport to spend hours at. There's a lot of, you know, people that come and pass through the city and obviously some uh, not so savory characters, you know. While her family tries to not think the worst. We wouldn't be here. Her father wouldn't be here. Her aunt wouldn't be here. Her uncles wouldn't be here if, if we thought that this was normal behavior. Hannah doesn't know a single soul in L.A. Now, the family does have a GoFundMe set up to help them pay for things like hotel bills while they're in L.A. searching for Hannah. If you'd like to donate, we have a link up right now over on KTLA.com. For now, they're reporting live here at LAX. Angelie Cockaday, back to you over in Hollywood. Yeah, Angelie, so many questions tonight. It's time to videomize your life. And thank you guys for watching. Remember to hit the like button, comment below. Share this out. Let's bring Hannah home. Have a great night. Bye.